It is Sunday, December 4th, 2022, and I guess the yard is looking pretty good here. I need to go back and look at those old videos. This area still floods. I did put some more dirt in over here to try to stop the river from being quite so obvious. This turf patch, you can see there a bit of discoloration where it's gotten a bit scalped. Leveling is a big thought that I have about what is needed. The camera looks like it's showing a lot more color in the ground, in the grass than I would have thought, than I see with my eye. Um, there's some thin patches here. This one filled out more than I thought it would, but still not as much as I would like. The tire tracks are pretty heavy from the mower. Uh, this turf patch again with the scalping, and but it's really coming along a lot. I'm going to need to call a tree service here. These trees are pretty dead from the evil parasitic vine. Um, I did make a little bit of a swale here. There's a turf patch, you can really tell. And then this is where the grass, or excuse me, the water flows really, really hard. Here I've been trying to fill this in, but all I did was make bear patch where it doesn't uh, grow so quick. Getting some grass to grow over here in the corner, but it is reclaiming from nature. Uh, the uh, hair is dropping its leaves there in Kathy's yard. You can see there's just this kind of much longer grass that I'm able to sort of like pull up and then I tear or cut it with scissors and stuff and it's just it's leaving these these patches because it's so thick and lo or so long but then the real fescue that you want is coming in but there are just these patches where this longer obnoxious I think it's quack grass is doing its stupid thing and it's got some real thicker patches to it. There's also lots of this Bermuda that I could not see before, but it uh, it comes up pretty good. But then finding out now here in the winter where the patches of dead southern grass are could be quite a lot that I could actually pull up. I don't know if I want to. Here's a good patch of this one is not so much Bermuda as it is this like fluffy stuff. And then the real big patches here and here. Like, what is that junk here? It just, it looked really bad in the fall and now it looks terrible in the winter. I suppose I ought to just pull it all up by hand now while I can see it. I'm sure I'll miss some. That's Bermuda. Great big long runners over there. Can I get some of this right now? Yeah. This was a really hard to grow spot. I think where this quack grass and the Bermuda are is what has made some places that were really late to come in in the fall overseed. Big patch right here, here. Lots of different colors of the different fescues. Turf patch. They're killing, slowly killing. The herbicides take a long time in the winter when the uptake is really slow. Warm days make it work. The edges of this one did not get seeded real good. Moderate success around the drain. More, I assume, quack grass, quack grass spots. I think this is mostly just fescue in need of iron. I picked a lot of Bermuda out. There's still some right there. Still hard to get out. Nice dirt on the hands here. Over here, coming in from the neighbor's yard is a lot more of this quack grass, which is really hard to tell, to my eye, from the Bermuda. It's a lot, I mean, the, the fescue, 
It's a lot thicker blade. Maybe that's the key, is the width of the... <sighs> yeah, so edges come along nice. A lot of, a lot of things grew in pretty well here. Needs micronutrients, I guess, at this point. I have a peck. It's just not been any good time to get it. Leveling seems to be a real need, but uh, probably not going to do that in January. So I think that's about it.